So this fifth short clip of five about our Octagon Eco 20 and 40 incubators will give the information you need about when to candle and what to do at hatching. So on about day 11, you need to check that you have viable embryos by candling the eggs with a candling kit, something like this one. This is our overview and overscope kit. And in here, we have an overscope and an overview. A bit like a, a powerful torch and this acts as a, a cover that goes over the overview to create a dark environment, some magnification and a, a little turning disc that allows you to rotate the egg. So day 11 we can take an egg out, we place the overscope over the overview, turn the light on, place the egg, we can reposition the egg, it might start with pointy end up, but we can reposition that to get a better view. And we put the little cover over that, we look down through the eyepiece and we rotate it. And what we're looking for is to see development of the egg as shown in this diagram. Okay, we're looking to see at day 11 the beginnings of a development of a darker mass in the egg um, uh, a beating heart and as they progress over days that that dark mass will get darker. If they're not viable we need to take the eggs out. Okay so two days before hatch at day 19 for chicken eggs we want to stop the turning so what we do is we simply remove the incubator from the cradle that it sat on. In fact, this one isn't sat on the cradle now, it's been taken off. So we remove it from the cradle and we place it on a flat surface as so. What we also do is we remove the separators because as the eggs hatch, we don't want the chicks getting themselves caught on the separators that we've got in the tray. We add water to the second reservoir. Remember we've got two reservoirs, so now we make sure that both reservoirs are two-thirds full. And we close the ventilation down to a third, but no more than a third. We need to be at least a third open. Having done that, we can put the eggs back in, lid back on, and we now have effectively shut down for hatching for the last two days. The higher humidity you create by filling both channels helps prevent the membranes drying and hardening before the chicks fully emerge from the egg. We don't want to be lifting the lid off less than every six hours because we really want to help maintain humidity and taking the lid off the humidity dissipates immediately. Once the chicks start to hatch you can leave them in the incubator for one or two days before transferring them under uh, a heat source like our EcoGlow 20 brewer. So that provides a, a nice heat source under which the, the chicks can um, maintain warmth um, and at that point you can also start to feed them chick crumb. That's it.